Hello, hello! Welcome! Teacher Carly here from EnglishLanguageGames.com and in this video I'm going to teach you a cute little kind of song and chant uh, that I use to really help motivate, to energize, and of course also to teach a proper sentence structure with the verb can. Um, I don't know about you, but in, in my class I've, I've often had kids make the, the, the common error of saying things like, I can to play or I can playing. Um, a very common mistake is they kind of take the, the, the structure of what they've learned from, from other sentences, other verbs, and they try and apply those rules to the verb can. But because it's um, it slightly it follows slightly different rules, uh, this is a, a fun little energizing, motivating little little chant that I use to uh, to teach the verb to can. I, uh, to, be, to teach the verb can. Sorry. <laughs> um, so the the first one I do is. Um, uh, I, I kind of get their attention. I said, okay, we're going to sing this how many times? And, and put up your fingers. And if they're not quite sure what you're talking about, say, say five or seven. Seven. Oh, okay, yay. So we're going to sing it seven times. Here it goes. And of course, always start off slow so that they can kind of build up. So it starts with, I can do it. So it goes. I can do it, 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 I can do it! Yay! And of course, always a big jump up at the end for just to get your energy going. Um, and then, um, pick another verb. So normally the easiest afterwards is to follow something like swim. So then we would do, um, I can swim, I can swim, I can swim, I can swim. I can swim, I can swim, I can swim, yay! <laughs> um, and then you can follow up with something like maybe jump. So I'll just kind of give you a few examples and, and then I'll, I'll continue on here. So um, if, for jump, you could do I can jump, 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 I can jump. Yay! Oh, and perfect. If something... <laughs> Like a helicopter passes by, for example, you can take that opportunity and start to introduce something like, it can fly, 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 it can fly. yay! Um, so that's kind of how I, I, I first in, started introducing it and, and kind of adding on new action verbs one at a time. Um, and then as another kind of like, positive motivator to to, um, to to encourage your your other kids if you see that one kind of needs a little bit of a a little power charge a little motivation boost um, sometimes what I've done is so if we're, we're all kind of in a circle um, I'll put one kid in the middle of the circle and then we all sing to them we sing you can do it so kind of all together you get lots of energy going and um, all the kids are singing to the one in the middle singing, you can do it, 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 yay! And then big high fives and everything going around. So that's one way and then, you know, follow them, always repeat, repeat, repeat. So you can throw it, um, put another one in and then you can practice the, um, you know, you, you can swim or something. So always going back, repeating the same verbs, but uh, just changing one word at a time. So for example, the, the, the subject, the person, okay, the pronoun in that case. Um, and then what I would do is Sorry, I, I don't have my, my regular props here with me, um, but uh, even just the idea of using a, a flashcard or if you have a little doll or something, um, so something of a little girl. And then you can put the girl, uh, normally what I would do is just kind of put it in the middle of the floor on the ground so that um, we can all kind of point to, to the girl and then we can sing something like, she can, I don't know, pick another, either practice one of the verbs you've already learned or introduce a new one. So let's say, for example, sing. So then you can, um, you've got the little girl and you can start singing. She can sing, 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 she can sing. yay! Okay, um, similar, 
And then of course I would do the same for a boy. I've got a little prompt better. If not, a picture works just fine. Um, and the, the reason that I do this and, and I don't use one of the kids from the group, I mean, I'm sure you could, but if, as long as you're able to make a very clear differentiation between when we're talking about you, as in you can do it, and, and he, as in the boy, okay? Um, so here you can do it with, um, he can kick, maybe, okay? Or um, you can, some other ideas of, of action verbs that you can use are, um, so you've got the sing, dance, um, cook, learn, um, we did jump, fly, swim, um, read, write, color, um, turn. <laughs> you can do tons of different different action verbs. Of course, so you, you have to keep your sentences fairly simple because the chant kind of only works with sort of a, a one verb. Um, and sorry, just to finish up there, then I would also um, either put um, both of the props, so the, the girl and the boy, put them in the middle on the floor, or get, get a new one with, um, you know, two kids on it that are playing, and put that on the floor so that then you can sing they. They can play, 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 yay! And with, um, to, to teach the word it, what you can do is, um, I, I normally pick an animal, it's kind of a, you know, fun thing for kids to be able to relate to. So just pick one, obviously it just has to be one, one picture of one animal. Um, here I've got a little fly or a pig or a fish or a little hamster, whatever it may be, pick one and then uh, choose your verb to go with it. So maybe the little, the little fly, you can do, it can fly, 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 it can fly. yay! <laughs> um, so there you go, that's the, the motivating, energizing, I can do it song um, from Teacher Carly at EnglishLanguageGames.com. And if you would like some, some more, um, I, I've also got a, a worksheet uh, that I use to follow up with this uh, that also includes um, uh, a very simple structure that I've put together to be able to teach kind of sentence structures um, with the, the verb can because it's, it's so easy. Uh, you can make so many variations just out of one simple little chart. And then there's also some conversation ideas of how um, you can get kind of kids um, practicing conversation and talking about what they can do. And also, um, um, oh yes, the other thing I was going to mention is you can also follow up this game with the lights, camera, action video um, that I'll have coming up soon as well. So um, until next time, I guess just remember then to subscribe to my newsletter at EnglishLanguageGames.com and, um, and you'll get tons of video trainings on how to motivate your kids and energize them and also fun English, um, English teaching materials that you can use with, um, with, your, with your ESL students. So, until next time, keep learning, laughing, and loving. All the best. Bye-bye.